You're not the best team in North Carolina. Shouldn't state realistically. Mm. Yeah. Call the SEC and beg. Mm. No. They're not in the same. Aren't they not in the same division of football now or something? What are you talking aren't, about? Aren't they split up in divisions? The NC State and, and the and the in basketball. There's something. I don't oh, know. Oh, you're talking about the Atlantic and Coastal divisions right. within the ACC. Is that just football? It's not basketball. It's not basketball. It's just football. <laughs> basketball. They, I, dude, I trust me. I know, man. <laughs> it's so dumb. What I'm saying is, when's the last time we won an ACC championship? Um, my point with a lot of those. So, folks, I mean, I, I've been saying Appalachian State should be asking asking for them. But at what point does Wake Forest and North Carolina, North Carolina State, not say, you know? I think they would, but for their programs as a whole, because it wouldn't just be basketball. You know, right. it would be That's football, too. I think their programs as a whole would do better. NC State would if, blow up. If they wanted to, they got to go like Big East. Because I'm sorry, the, whatever hopes you're having to have a great year in the SEC in football, well, I mean, you're just not going to what. I, that's not what I'm getting at. Uh, so and that's what people say when I say are Appalachian you just talking about? Be, are you just, just at least playing talking about out recruiting the SEC, and the SEC right. trying to get into North Carolina? That so with North Carolina, with the state of North Carolina is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I keep yeah. saying. App State should bet. You know, people are like, well, App can't compete. App can't compete. Well, first of all, they beat an SEC team this year. Um, a team they beat beat Tennessee this year. Mm-hmm. So that's two technically SEC, SEC teams. And, and what I pointed out on Saturday, eight schools have not won an SEC title. Since 1979, Appalachians won the same number of SEC titles right. in 30 something, no, 40 years as some SEC school, as eight SEC schools. So I'm, and, and that's the thing, everybody. Well, they can't beat Alabama. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that they could be fifth, they could be sixth. Here's here's they could be what seventh. I here's what I would question though, because when you say SEC, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Like talking sports wise, well, football, football. Right. And for Appalachian State, when you talk about their athletic program, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, football. It's football. So for them, that would probably make more sense to move to the SEC because that would be a football decision. Right. They so would, here's because the, NC State the SEC thing. Because the SEC outside, outside of maybe Kentucky mm-hmm. and Florida usually is not the strongest at basketball. State's only had two... The, well, that's what NBA I player yeah. quality players in the last ten to fifteen years, and they well, the, paid one of them yeah, under, under the, the table, table to get there. Smith. And we yeah. don't know how much they paid T.J. Warren. But my thing is, well, what I'm saying is that, and everybody's like, "Well, we'd lose the basketball." No, you can still play them. No, there's well, nobody yeah. saying you can't play them out of conference one. You'd still, yeah, you still play South Carolina and Clemson, Georgia and Georgia Tech play, <laughs> play every year. So you can still play. Them. Yeah. The thing about that is, is that in recruiting in North Carolina, you have four schools. Mm-hmm. Competing in one conference. Are there any other states? And I, there might be. I'm not sure. Is it the Pac-12? The have, does the Pac-12 have four teams in, in USC, California? USC, UCLA, Stanford. Well, there's three. Right. And then uh, California is sure. way bigger. Right. Oh wait, wait. You see what I say? UCLA, Stanford, USC, Stanford. USC Cal. Okay. Cal. So there's four teams. There. Was it Cal Berkeley? Was it just Cal? I just go by Cal. Cal. Cal Cal's not in. They go California. Yeah, Cal. That's the what Golden I'm Bears. Yeah, Golden Bears. All right. There you go. Maybe even Texas. All right. If you go, if, yeah, right. So maybe Texas, maybe California. California has four. I'm looking at it right now. Those states are way bigger than North Carolina. Yeah. Like way bigger. Population wise. It's not even, I think Carolina gets 14. We get 14 votes, and they get a whole lot more. But those are the two top vote getters, I think, in New York, mm-hmm. in the country, in the Electoral College. So what I'm saying is that these North Carolina schools, have to split up four sets of recruiting in a smaller state in the mm. same conference. And that has to hurt all of them across the board at some point. Right. Because each one of them you go in, so if you're, so Hunter, you're getting recruited at Bandy's there, and you've got four different schools mm-hmm. from the same conference. So it's not like, so say if NC State came in and they yeah. were SEC, they could be like, Hunter, you could play at Duke, North Carolina, in the ACC, or you, you could play, play SEC, SEC football. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. So all of a sudden, those well, number one recruits see, in, the, in the state are going would go to them. Well, that's what Appalachian I was alluding with. State. That's what I was alluding with, though, with where with Appalachian State, it would make more sense because the SEC is known for football. Mm-hmm. Appalachian State is known for football. Mm-hmm. So if I was to look at NC State, I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, I'm like, well, what's your pitch? You want to be one of the top three teams in SEC basketball? 
I mean, the SEC is not really well. Their pitch is that well, their pitch is that they're they're decent at football now. That's questionable right now. Well, and if they get the thing about what I'm saying, Hunter, is that once one of these teams goes to SEC in football, that means the majority of the of the best players in North Carolina will be going there. Right. That's going to change when people say App can't compete right now. I know they can't, but what they will do, Hunter, is then at what you call it, the, the kid at North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Think you'd be looking at Appalachian State if they're in the SEC instead Maybe. of instead of the Tar Heels? Maybe. I mean, think about it. If you're if you're what's his what's his name? How Sam, Sam How? If you're Sam How coming out the number one recruit in North Carolina and Appalachian State says you can play in the SEC football with us, or you can play on the Tar Heels team in the ACC, who's never won anything and probably never will while you're there. That, there's there's just so much that's going to go on in the recruiting, and you know, almost I would think Wake Forest or State. Should should try to get App and both and get two like that and then call the SEC or something like that. The SEC should be trying to hit that market somehow. North Carolina and there's so many teams that they. I mean, the SEC would probably. I'm saying App State would be, I think, a better fit, but NC State, I think, would be. Well, because that's that's one of the things that the SEC would really look at before they would even you know indulge that you'd want to come to SEC. They'd look at you say, well, what are you bringing to our conference? Mm -hmm. And with Appalachian State, you can at least say we have a great football program. The SEC has already got a great uh, football standhold. They've got a footprint really in college football. State's got a giant stadium. That's, I mean, their football stadium. Massive. It is big. <laughs> Carter Finley big is big. Stadium. It's a big stadium, but <laughs> but other than that, it's like what NC State is at right now. Maybe maybe a great baseball team. The SEC's right. got good so baseball. So what is but what is Vanderbilt brought to the conference this year? This year, I, mean, I don't know. They're usually dominant in baseball. Look at them in basketball. Zero and six in the conference. Didn't do nothing in football. We know that. Mm-hmm. Missouri two and five in the conference. South Carolina three and three lost to Appalachian. Arkansas did they win a game in football in Tennessee? I'm not sure. They had awful football seasons, and, and so that's, for the that's majority my point, of them. Hunter. For the majority of the rest of them, they can right. at least say if it's not if it's not basketball, football, we're at right. least competitive. I, I think that's my point on all this is that when when someone says SEC and and, and then we talk these conferences, you know, you, the most of the time you're only talking three or four teams at the top, and then everybody else is garbage, and they are. And if you can't admit that, I'm sorry. AC, SEC basketball. 22, 13, and 17 on the rankings, and no one else is ranked. Best team after that is 13 and 7. There's a 15 and 4 Razorbacks team, but they're 3 and 3 in the conference. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, I just think the one of these North Carolina teams, especially when the SEC expands, when they ever decide to expand, I think they have to hit North Carolina. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of those well, uh, app. I mean, uh, Wake Forest could almost, you know, jump in there, but if you got Wake, and here's the, it's just me being OCD about it, then you got. Wake and Vanderbilt, and they're both really smart schools, and they're black and gold. I know it has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> just flip flop. It would just aggravate. Yeah, just flip flop. <laughs> uh, you know, between those two, if you were to say Wake Forest or NC State, who I think would make the move first, I think it would be Wake Forest, just because NC State's got so much. It's already so deep in the ACC. Like the ties it has in the ACC, it's won an AC, you know, it's won a national championship through the ACC as well in basketball. The, their baseball team is really rooted in the ACC, so I, I don't know. I, it would be tough to see them. Not to mention, uh, they always, you, you can never really shy away from the Tobacco Road rivalry between mm-hmm. NC State, Duke, and Carolina, all within like 20 miles of each other. So it's, it's just one of those things where if you were to ask me which one of the two between the ACC schools, Wake Forest. And North Carol and NC State were to leave and to go to another conference, and I'm not just going to assume it'd be the SEC because I could see the Big East trying to come back into play. Mm-hmm. Is they are they still a thing, or is it, or did that dissolve <laughs> into the American Conference? Because remember, I want you to think that's about a, it. Everybody from the Big East uh, left to go play ACC basketball. It was Louisville. They left. There's your Big East. It was East. Syracuse. They left. Ah. Folks watch at home, I'll put it up on the screen. Nah, the, the okay, so if, if not the Big East, then maybe the American. They conference. might be strictly basketball though, now. I think they are because I don't I don't none think of those teams none have of those football. teams have football have football. So right. maybe the American because American at least has football. They've got Southern Florida, yeah. they've got Yukon, yeah, they've got Temple football teams. So I if not does the, does the Big Ten come south to North Carolina? Well, the Big Ten came slightly south, claiming Maryland. Mm-hmm. 
But they took Maryland away from the ACC. And West Virginia. And West, no, Big 12. They're in the 12? Big 12 came Sorry. east. The Big 12 came east from the Midwest and West and claimed West Virginia. Why are they? I don't know. I, I really don't understand that because I thought the Big Ten. Like, the Big every Ten conference made, game and every sport requires planes. We, I was about to say, we can break down every one of these conferences, and I can tell you there's n- there's no sense that they're there. All right, real there's quick no before we move on. Kind of like hey, Hawaii, a part, of the mount, a part of the Mountain West Conference. All right. The, they got to go to Boise. Here's what I think on realignment. Let's see what you think. I know, I know you're going to poo-poo, poo, no, I, poo-poo I shoot it down, but we'll what if? It. I like realignment talks. Let, let's take you in, could do that in NCAA games. Let's take in travel into consideration. Okay. All right. California could have their own conference. Technically. North Carolina could have their own conference. Well, I would say. Let's think about it. Let's look at the ACC if it's North Carolina. You got four teams already Appalachian. Wake, wait, yeah, okay. So you got Wake Forest, NC State, North Carolina, Duke, and now Appalachian, Charlotte, Charlotte East, East Carolina, Carolina, West, West Carolina, Carolina. That's eight. Western Carolina is not nowhere near that caliber. But UNC Wilmington. But, but that's fine. You're just my going point off is, of Hunter. Schools. Somebody's got to come in last. Yeah. We can't keep. We can't say. We can't just put. If you put the twenty best teams in one conference, someone's going to yeah, come in the, last. Okay. Well, technically, you could say yes because you got UNC Wilmington, right. UNC Greensboro, right. UNC or was it North Carolina Central. You've got what's the point? My point is, what's the point of watching Pittsburgh go three and sixteen instead of Western Carolina go three and sixteen? Because I think they go zero and sixteen. Well, (laughs) 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 but if they're an ACC school hunter, they're now getting ACC recruits. Yeah, but but then you're technically not going ACC anymore. You're saying (laughs) come play in the North Carolina conference. What if you had North Carolina, South Carolina, the Carolinas conference? Uh, That's what I was about to say. Why to me it would much rather be North Carolina or South Carolina. We stopped at eight there and then add the South Carolina school. South Carolina through to Virginia. Let's South Carolina. Let's Florida just do the Virginia. Carolinas because you got we, we named the eight major ones there. You go Clemson, South Carolina, Coastal, Coastal, College Carolina, of Charleston, College of Charleston. There's uh, twelve South, South Carolina Upstate. Uh, I mean, there's twelve teams right there that are major basketball schools that play in the NCAA that you just throw a team uh, conference together right then, and then I, Appalachian State and Clemson could rule everything. But you know, <laughs> now if you if you strictly wanted to keep it. Big, big, big schools. Right. That way, at least there's level playing field on competition. I would include Appalachian State in that. I would go South Carolina through North Carolina and Virginia. Mm-hmm. You can have Virginia Tech, Virginia. I'll even throw VCU in there, Virginia Commonwealth, because they've got a great basketball program when uh, Shaka Smart was there. It's still not bad. I would continue with Appalachian State. I would throw North Carolina, Duke, NC State, Wake Forest in there. East Carolina can come as well because they've had they're a, a, one of the larger schools in North Carolina. Then mm-hmm. you can bring up you know Coastal Carolina, South Carolina, Clemson, College of Charleston. That there is a very decent just a conference right there between three. If you want to talk about student size, size of the school itself. Well, Florida could have its own conference. Yeah, because it's Miami, Florida, Florida State, Central Florida, Central Southern Florida, Florida, Southern Florida. <laughs> talk. I mean. Florida but International, which way would Georgia Florida go? Atlantic. Because there's only a few schools in Georgia. There's not really that many in Georgia. Mm. Uh, no, I mean, of course, there's the big two. Georgia, Georgia Tech. Um. <laughs> Who else? Are you throwing Savannah State and Georgia State in there? No. Maybe Georgia Southern. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Georgia Southern. Maybe Georgia Southern. I'd give it to them. They've won national championships. And maybe Georgia Georgia State. Georgia State has got a decent basketball program. They beat Tennessee in football this year. They beat them in football this year. So, (laughs) but that's not enough. So they would have to go. They would have to coincide with Tennessee. Tennessee lost to Georgia Southern. State. It's Georgia State. Yeah, in football. Georgia State. Tennessee holds 110,000 fans. And they all watched them take that <laughs> L. The stadium, oh, was, the stadium is on the river. Where people makes, can just yeah. park their boats yeah. at the stadium. What makes it so and funny? And they got beat by Georgia State. You want to know what's so funny, though? George, they paid Georgia State to come play I that know, game and, get, sure and, and, and Tennessee to get beat. Oh, yeah. Appalachian was paid to beat Michigan. That's how, I see, that's how it works, man. <laughs> Western Carolina at one time was leading Alabama a few years ago. and got paid, but then yeah. they got washed uh, so i personally i would like some conference realignment i think it would be fun i think it would be better for schools in general like appalachian state 
I know that they have a lot of, you know, success in football, but they I feel like with the with the recruits that they already bring in already mm-hmm. with in the what is the big sky? They've been division 1 in every sport except football mm-hmm. up until the, but but the they're few part but what are they part of the big sky? Con- Sunbelt. Sunbelt. So they're mm-hmm. part of the Sunbelt. And s- could you imagine though if they were a part of a bigger like I, I agree with you. Could you imagine if an Appalachian state or who was another independent that was a, not an independent but Notre Dame. Us, uh not no, Notre Dame. <laughs> Memphis. You know, Memphis is strong in basketball and football. Yeah. Could you imagine uh, just how much better they could possibly be if they played in a conference that's not Conference USA? Uh, so if they were part of the ACC, or here's your, there's another team that you can throw into the SEC, Memphis. You know, I mean, so I I can agree with a little bit of conference rearrangement. This- I just don't I don't like that the Big Twelve has West Virginia. I will never like that. West Virginia should have been a part of an East Coast. Is Kimba starting? Yeah, Is that right? he's a, yeah, he's a starter. East Conference starter. He was voted Eastern Conference. Starter. Oh, that's what happens when you play for the Celtics and the Lakers. You get lots of well, votes. Well, huh? well, it's someone else, and I know it's going away from us. Yeah. What no, we're going to this next. Yeah, we'll go to that next. Well, then here I'll just finish it up. Conference realignment. Would love to see it in, in all facets. It's not just for football, for basketball. Like I just think it would be really fun for all of them. The only one out of the there are only two schools I could see in North Carolina that could really be up for it, and one of them is Appalachian State. And if one of them is the ACC school, I could see Wake Forest doing it before NC State. What if? Just because NC State will be like, we've got history here. Like, we're historically yeah, at what an point ACC does it matter, school. though? You know, you're 10 miles from everywhere. That's my thing. If I'm NC State, I'd want out. And, and if they do leave the ACC, you could just call East Carolina if they really want to. Oh, if they really want to <laughs> really North, North Carolina yeah. school, which I just think is overkill. Well, that's another rivalry, East Carolina and NC State. They don't like each other at all. I, 